Hello everyone and welcome to game 3 in the series between Stefano versus White Raw here on Metropolis. Stefano spawning as the pink Zerg player here at what I will call the 12 o'clock position. That's over here on the right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, White Raw spawning here as the red Protoss player at the 9 o'clock position. So Zerg versus Protoss once more and we'll see what's going to happen in this series. So game 3... In this series, both players currently tied at one game apiece as we're going to see this game get underway. Front door now getting up a pylon. There is going to be just enough room for this wall off to happen here. Perhaps adding in an additional pylon here will complete it even if the destructible rocks do go down. And now all we really have is White Raw sending his pro back to mining instead of trying to go for, say, a Forge Fast Expansion just quite yet. Probe now making his way down over here to the low ground. We could get a Forge on the front door. That looks like that will be the case. Forge on the front door. There we go. Nope, Gateway on the front door. As White Raw looking to Gateway Fast Expand. And this is rather interesting. As the Pylon and the gateway does get added, are we going to get an assimilator? And is White Raw going to open up with the much more traditional uh, gateway assimilator build? And that doesn't seem to be the case. So the probe is going to start wandering around here. We are going to get another pylon inside the base here. The overlord is going to come in and take a look and not see anything. And this may make it actually look as though White Raw is trying to go for a forge fast expansion when he is in fact not. We see that there is a pylon over here. The probe is going to come in, take a look, see that there is a hatchery already down. Spawning pool was started some time ago. And the Overlord now needs to continue its way down and see exactly if there is going to be a forge with some photon cannons on the front door. A zealot now being trained. No gas as of yet. And with that, Stefano knows that he doesn't have to worry about any stalkers. Probe now making its way down to the low ground. We, it looks as though we are going to be harvesting some minerals before that probe warps in the nexus. There it goes. Probe now warping in the nexus. The overlord, does he spot the nexus now? He does. He knows that the nexus is just down as a zealot is going to go over here to the Zonalga Tower alongside one probe. So one zealot, one probe already coming in. An overlord parking itself off in the middle of the map. Stefano once again benefiting from these overlord positions. As we are going to be getting up a zealot, a probe, and now perhaps another zealot as the front door now being walled off. Still no cybernetic score though. Zealots are still being trained and these gateways are really warping in the zealots the old fashioned way. Something that you don't see really often. Perhaps one or perhaps two zealots at the most. But we are now getting into um, two zealots with a third one now being trained. We'll see how this is all going to unfold as now the pro being forced to run away from those zerglings. A new hatchery has been placed down at what I'll call the 1 or the 2 o'clock position on the top right hand side of the map. Two zealots holding the Zelnaga tower. As the zealots are now going to make their way forward. The zerglings are trying to squeeze their way in or squeeze their way by. Is it going to happen? It looks as though the zerglings are going to be able to get in here as the zealots now chasing after the... the or chasing away... Or running away from the zealot. We are not going to be getting a probe here on the front door. And that's going to be very, very bad news. As Stefano is going to know exactly what's going on here. Zergling trying to go after. Or Zergling is going to try to run by. Unable to do so. We can see that there is now two Zerglings just running around inside the space. White Raw attempting to run away with the probes. Zealots are going to be forced to come back in, the, in this position here. As the Zealots now cleaning up against some Zerglings. One Zealot will get taken down. Four Zerglings against one Zealot. The Zergling is uh, chasing after the Zealot still. The Zealot now back over here. And what's going to happen as the Zergling does get taken down? The Zealot now backing off, and making sure that it doesn't get surrounded. But the Metabolic Boost and um, still not started here as the Zerglings are not going to be able to really get a good, good position on that Zealot. As now Stefano goes into a very, very hard drone count. So he's droning up. Fairly heavily, now training up 10 drones at a time. No queen at this hatchery just quite yet as the queen now makes a slow, slow, long trek all the way 
and since the destructible rocks are still not up zealot now going perhaps after a drone the, the zergans are gonna be able to get an easy surround here and down goes the zealot so white raw not too careful with those early early zealots losing three of them and now all he really has is a front door with one photon cannon one zealot and some destructible rocks which may fall if he's not careful Zealot now looking to destroy the backdoor rocks of um, backdoor rocks himself. Perhaps try to establish this nexus here. Stefano has a number of options that he can try to go for. He is getting up his Roach Warren. He is taking the tier two. Also has an extractor up, and off of three bases, he should be able to get up a very large number of roaches and try to do a push momentarily. One round of those roaches, as opposed to one round of drones. And you will see how large Stefano's army can grow to in just a matter of seconds. Spawn larva about to be completed here. Spawn larva um, looking like it will be completed here momentarily. And here. And we are now up to 11 or 12 larva. And still Stefano doing a great job. But still hasn't really tipped his hand into training a lot of units yet. Glio reconstitution has been started. Roach is getting level 1 missile upgrades. It looks like we may have an early attack here in just a moment. Stefano still running on three queens. The queens have not laid down creep tumors to connect these two bases as the creep tumors are now making their way out into the middle of the field. Overlords um, pretty much in very, very good positions will be able to keep track of the armies if they try to do move out. Zerglings and Roaches now putting themselves into position as well. Glio Reconstitution about halfway done. Zerg Missile Attack almost halfway done. And we are now getting 7-8 Roaches being trained at the same time. The Nexus down over here looks like it will get dis uh, will get cancelled perhaps as a Pylon now warping in once more. There are two Pylons here. The Zerglings trying to take down the Nexus. The Rocks have gone down. A Zealot now going to make its way in. We can see a Sentry is now warping in as well. The Zerglings going to try to run away. It looks like some of them will be able to escape as the Roaches now clean up more units and now Zerglings and Roaches going to try to engage. The front door does have a lot of units. Force fields quickly come in as White Rod now tries to retreat. Stefano really heavily getting into a lot of drones now. So he's going to have a large number of drones and take a strong drone advantage. As long as Stefano doesn't lose too many of these roaches here, if, as long as he's able to take down the sentries, it, that should be enough. Sentry after sentry is getting destroyed. And now zealots are finally being added to the army. But the roach is still dealing a lot of damage. Photon cannons being added. Stefano now up to 122 compared to 71 food. Nine drones now being trained. Infestation pit being added. And Stefano, if he doesn't get the win here, well... No point in finishing that sentence as White Raw says GG. So White Raw losing game three in this series. Moving on to game four.